Hey guys, uh, this is going to be a short video. Uh, at the end of part one of my Cricut video, um, I wanted to show you how it cuts a uh, seatbelt. Now, I recently got a, a, a long seatbelt out of a car from a junkyard uh, that's local to me. I was actually driving past it one day and I figured, you know what, let me stop and see if I can get some stuff for cutting demos. And I explained the guy, I explained to the guy that I'm using the uh, material for um, cutting demonstrations uh, in videos. And he actually had a, a car that was about to be crushed in the compactor and he let me have free range on it. So, you know, free of charge, very nice of him. Uh, he let me go in and take what I wanted. So I went in and I cut a long piece of seatbelt. Um, but what I try to do is I try to conserve the seatbelt, okay, because I want to use it in future videos for cutting demos on different knives. So I cut a little square to show you in the video. And in holding the square like that, it's just there's no there's not enough tension. My two fingers here, my ring finger and thumb, you know, and my pointer finger and middle finger kind of holding it like that. It's just it was when I was trying to do the cut, it was just pulling out of my fingers. So I figured instead of doing a little square like that, I'll actually use the whole piece here. I'm uh, on the floor, I'm stepping on the other side to give me some tension. Okay, so I have the long piece here. Now this is kind of um, a demonstration as if it was real life. Um, if you ever need to cut the seatbelt off of someone or, um, you know, cut the seatbelt off yourself in a car wreck, it's not because it's the fun thing to do. It's because your seatbelt's jammed. I mean, if you get into a car wreck, you take your seatbelt off. But in most cases, it kind of jams and locks in place here, okay, on you. So you cannot escape. And that's the whole purpose of having, you know, a knife on you uh, as a rescue tool. So in this case, I'm going to just hold it straight out like this. And like I said, I'm, I'm stepping on one end with my foot here uh, to hold some tension on it. And uh, I'll give you a demo. So let's just say you got to, you know, a car accident, a little fender bender, but now your seatbelt's jammed on you and you got to pull out your little trusty knife. Now again, keep in mind this is only a one and three quarter inch blade. Um, and this is not razor sharp. This is not brand new. This is well used. In fact, I haven't uh, touched this up in probably a week, and I've used it maybe, I say maybe two dozen times at most, um, but it is not in tip-top shape. You can even get this sharper, but just to show you the uh, effectiveness of a small blade on a very, you know, coarse, tough material like, you know, a common seatbelt. Uh, anyway, here's the cut. Coming down, there you have it, all the way through. Now, you could um, cut completely sideways. Okay, on the, again, I can't get this because I can't hold this uh, still. But coming in on an angle, okay, is going to, um, it's definitely going to help with the cut. It's going to make it a little easier for you. So again, if you're in a car wreck, um, I'm going to grab the end of here and try this again. I don't want to waste too much of it. Um, but again, if you're in a car wreck, let me step on the end, the other end of it. And you have to cut your seatbelt off. Try not to cut it just straight across. It's going to be harder to do. Um, cut it on an angle. A downwards angle okay it's gonna shear through that material a little easier let me start with the base here and work towards the tip there you go again um, in this case as it went down it kind of ripped the material off so it frayed a little so this uh, this definitely um, needs a sharpening but even a, a semi dulled blade like this okay because of this blade shape and because you do have you know a, still enough blade to be effective there you go you can cut through a seatbelt so imagine this touched up, it'd be even easier. You cut through it like butter. It would be a non-issue for you whatsoever. And in many cases, it may save your life, you know. Um, heck, uh, in another video, I explained how uh, I had to do this. And the knife I had on me at the time was a Gerber Easy Out. And I had to cut my seatbelt off. I was in a, a car wreck um, with a friend in a, a Jeep Cherokee. And we flipped over a couple times, and we were upside down by the time we stopped rolling. And... Um, my seatbelt was jammed. My whole body weight was on the seatbelt, so there's no way I could have uh, unlatched it. I ended up cutting myself out as well as my friends. Um, so he was extremely happy that I happened to have a knife on me that day. And ever since then, I do one of two things. A, I never get in a car without putting my seatbelt on. And B, I never go without a knife. So there's the uh, demo. And of, of course, again, I'm a liar. And uh, I said it was going to be a short video. And I just tend to blab on and blab on. And that's a common comment is, hey man, I love your videos, but you talk too much. And that's exactly what I'm doing now. <laughs> and I, I apologize. It's just, uh, I guess, one of my traits. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Take care.